everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again today, and apparently Debian is updated to 9.6 today. Okay, so let's see. I've got the update notification down here in my MX toolbar. It says 50 new updates. Let's see what we got. Well, all sorts of things that shouldn't cause too much problem. However, I see that Grub is going to update. So that's the bootloader, so there's probably going to be some questions to answer. So let's see what happens. All sorts of updates. All right, so we hit upgrade. Oh. Okay, so we've got after this, 50 packages will be updated. Do you want to continue? Yes. So we're going to go to town, see what happens. Downloading packages is always the boring part. I will be fast forwarding through this part. All right, all the packages downloaded, and now we are packing and unpacking and getting ready to install all the updates. Still thinking that Grub update is going to cause us some questions. Okay, here we are. What we got? Configuring Grub PC. A new version of blah, blah, blah is available, but the version installed currently has been locally modified. A configuration file, Etsy default Grub. So that is the theme file. That is the file for the default setup of MX. I want to keep the local version that's currently installed. Uh, do you want to do about mod install the packet? No. Show the difference between the versions? No, I want to do that. So, okay. So we kept the we kept the Etsy default grub. You want to keep the default one. It's unlikely Debian's adding anything that would particularly cause any hiccups. And that's it. This turn on goes. Press any key to close. Well, so if you're, so all that grub stuff, really the only thing that never changed was my, was, was doing the Etsy default grub file. And the only reason that updated uh, is because we have, I have a custom one uh, for MX that I've modified. I didn't get anything, all the other grub updates were fine. Aha, if you're on a UEFI system, no problems. If you're on a MBR boot, a legacy BIOS boot, you're gonna get something that maybe looks a little bit different and it looks a little something like this you're gonna get a menu that's an option for configuring the grub PC now grub that's the package that controls the MBR grub setup and what's gonna happen you're gonna get a selection down here this is a video I'm gonna play it you're gonna get a selection down here where you need to choose where to install it and the instructions here will tell you install it everywhere if, if you don't know Okay, fine. What you really want to do nine times out of ten is 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 whatever the uh, the main device of your boot drive is. In my case, on, my, on this virtual on this other system that I updated, it was it was dev.sda. So I want to select that. Now you see this red box. It looks like a checkbox. It's not. It's actually a cursor. And so what you have to do is you actually have to tell it to. Uh, which one you want and you have to mark it explicitly if you just hit enter it's not going to install it anywhere and you may wake up to a system that doesn't boot so you can hit play I'm, I'm sorry you hit the button I hit spacebar you see it put a little asterisk in there that's what you do you tell it where you want it that's what that's doing it's taking the new grub MBR it's reinstalling it and bringing it back it is possible not to reinstall it and it will still work but they recommend doing the reinstall. Um, so I, we're going to do that. Then you hit tab to come down here and hit the OK button. And then the installation should go through the rest of the way, same as before. I did reboot this system when I was done, and it did uh, reboot just fine. So just be careful with the messages. Look at what it's asking you, and be aware of that stupid little red checkbox. Why it's set up that way, I do not know. They really ought to pick one as a default. Maybe they just don't want people hitting enter. I think they want you to deliberately make the choice. Um, I, this happens occasionally in the Debian world, and it always bugs me when it does because being stable, you should never get those kinds of questions on an update on something that's already working. But we do here. Uh, strictly speaking, not MX's fault, but a lot of MX users are asking about it in the forums this morning. It's upstream from Debian, and uh, now you know. So you guys booting legacy boots, just be careful. Tell it to reinstall to the MBR. You should be fine.
tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to mxlinux.org or throw up a post at forum.mxlinux.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.